Wow, what is going on everybody? I hope you're having an amazing day so far. For me, I'm having a pretty good day. So recently on like YouTube and especially Instagram, a lot of you guys have been asking what my training split is, how I've been unlocking my skills. And I have like separate videos on how I've unlocked straddle planche and the front lever, but I never really give you my entire week of training. So that's exactly what we're gonna do with this video. Full training split from Monday through Sunday. So without further ado, let's just, let's just start our day. Very new addition to my morning routine has been my walk to the river and jump in it. What, what's a better way to start your day than some like morning shrinkage, you know? It's freezing cold and it just doesn't get any better than that. So I built quite the appetite from the walk-in and the swimming, so I'm ready to start eating some breakfast now. Three eggs and some yogurt. We're, we're gonna make it. All right, breakfast is served. I actually decided to make scrambled eggs. I haven't had scrambled eggs for a while, thought I'd switch it up. You know, if you wanna train hard and train effectively, you gotta make sure you eat properly as well. You gotta give your body the fuel it needs. That's why I like showing you guys what I'm eating. Man, that tastes good. Mm, I finished the cow nipple juice aka yogurt. Now we just let it digest and then we'll start training. So the food has been fully digested. I am light on my feet. I'm ready to start working out. Gonna have a quick little pre-workout. All right, honey on a cracker. Little, this is like the worst part of the day. Oh yeah, that's salty. All right, here we go. Okay. This is a lot better. Today is gonna be a planche workout. It's nice and sunny out. It's nice and beautiful. Let's get into the zone. So this is actually a pretty important thing to bring up. And that is the more you train and like the longer you work out, the more times you will have a really bad workout where like you're just feeling weak, feeling tired. Even though like the day prior, you were able to like lift the amount you did or you're able to hold the skill longer. Just sometimes your body's just like, nah, you just push forward. You don't stop the workout. You keep doing that workout. It's just a little bump in the road, okay? Don't let it stop you. that I use all the time are pull up and dip. If you wanna support me and you wanna get yourself some high quality resistance bands or Palisades equipment, click the link in my description where it says equipment I use, use my code CRUISE10, save 10% off. You can support me, your favorite calisthenics athlete. If not, just you watching the video is enough support that I need. Thank you. Hey, I just wanna see you on my new grave. So that's gonna wrap up today's workout since I'm gonna be showing you guys two of workouts. I didn't wanna like show you my entire thing. I'll, I'll give you more full in depth tomorrow. The power of editing you'll see in like three seconds. Check out this smooth trend. Day two. So I think I set myself up for a transition yesterday. I don't really remember, but hopefully it turned out pretty well. On my little fancy whiteboard here, I'll explain to you guys what I train on every single one of these days. So we'll start with Monday. All right, Monday is high intensity planche training, and that's gonna be my most difficult exercise for the week. And it's mainly revolved around, you know, straddle planche attempts, and as well as doing assisted planche holds, but with a light band. So you're really trying to in increase that intensity, make it as difficult as you can of a workout. You're not trying to go for high reps or high holds. Then on Tuesday, 
is going to be front lever day. While I'm resting for my planche, the next day I do front lever training. That's going to be high volume. So I'm not just trying to go for like super hard progressions, like touch front lever stuff. I'm just trying to increase the volume of my front lever holds, get a lot more efficient and better at them. So it's mainly revolving around high reps, higher hold times. And with my assisted bands, I go for like higher times. So a little bit thicker bands. Then on Wednesday, my writing is not, it's usually not this bad. These, these pens are hard to write with, okay? Don't judge me. So on Wednesday is going to be planche once again because I'm a little bit more well rested from my Monday high intensity workout. However, I wouldn't be able to do another high intensity workout just two days after. I go for a high volume. So the progressions are going to be lower, you know, less difficult. And with my assisted holds, I'm going to go for more thicker bands. That way I can hold them for longer and not fatigue myself too much and, you know, hold the planche a little bit longer with a bit more assistance of the band. Then on Thursday, it's gonna be the exact same thing on Tuesday. Front lever training, high volume, build your back a little bit more, build the endurance. I'm not really focusing on like touch front lever at the moment. I will in the future, but right now I'm just trying to get as strong as I can with my front lever, pull it as long as I can on the high bar and the low bar, not anything crazy intense. So my Friday workout is gonna be pretty much the exact same thing as on Wednesday. I probably would not be able to do a high intensity workout twice a week, so that's why I go for one high intensity and then two low volume, and that's gonna be the exact same thing as Wednesday. Like I said, lower progression holds, so I can hold them for longer. Oh, and I also forgot to mention on Thursday I got gymnastics but that's late at night but that's more acrobatic stuff doesn't really affect my calisthenics as much if you watch my my video from two weeks ago where I did my legs and ab workout that's gonna be on a Saturday so yeah Saturdays legs and abs you know it's always good to at least train your legs once a week my I really don't care about you know the size of my legs my legs at the moment I got a competition to prepare for I got other skills that I want to learn before you know growing the size of my leg and I'm also training legs at gymnastics as well so I am kind of training them twice a week but yeah and then on Sunday is a full rest I don't do jack at all I don't do anything on Sunday exercise wise on Sundays I barely do anything maybe I'll do some flexibility I'll, I'll do some walking with the dog but really Sunday is like complete mental and physical recharge I am pretty much donezo for the entire week. And the reason why I go for a full rest is because Monday is gonna be a super freaking hard workout. So I gotta make sure I'm fully rested by the time that happens. Otherwise I'm gonna have a poo start of the week. That's gonna be my entire week. Monday planche, Tuesday front lever, Wednesday planche, Thursday front lever, Friday planche, Saturday legs and abs, Sunday full rest. Now you guys know my entire week of training that I've been doing that has helped me increase my front lever and helped me unlock the straddle planche. Hopefully this has given you some knowledge, structure your own workout program because so far this has been really helpful to me and I try to switch up my workout program maybe every four to five months or so so I don't change it very often. With that being said, let's go train front lever. Pre-workout number two of the video I guess. I put, <laughs> I put way too much in it. This is gonna be bad. are absolutely so tender right now <laughs> it's so painful when you like you, your hands are like super sore you got mad calluses and you try to grip the bar and your hands feel like they're on fire like you're just shoving them in like the pits of hell Oof, it's rough but you got to push through it <sighs> yeah Nothing but a little banana action after a workout. Here's a little pro tip if you're trying to eat a banana and there's like your homies are around, this is how you eat it. No sus, nothing sus about it. You still get to eat a banana. And with all that being said, I just want to say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I truly appreciate it. Hopefully this is giving you some insight on how I train. It's not going to work for everyone, but it works for me. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it and peace out.